hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to show you some things and talk a little bit about some products and some makeup related things that I love but I usually don't talk about them on camera so I'm going to show you some stuff and it's some products and some makeup tools and one thing that's not a makeup tool or makeup product so we can start with that one and this is a brush cleaner from Kix and this is like this alcohol speed cleaning things so you just spray your brush and then I wipe it off on a kitchen towel or any, something like that and the brush is clean uh, and it's dry like this because it's only alcohol in this mostly alcohol it's only alcohol so I really love this because I'm so lazy when it comes to clean my brushes and this one is so good I I think that super many brands has these but I use this one and this is one of the best thing I have ever bought for my makeup makeup thing in my life uh, I love this one if you live in the Nordics buy this one or if you live anywhere and have seen something like this buy it because it's so good you still have to clean your brushes like fairly with the shampoo or something but this one it fixed the brushes pretty good so I really really love this one then we can take the tools so I have two brushes and two other things and we can start with two other things one is the sponge from Real Techniques and I think this was one of the first sponges I've tried then I tried the Beauty Blender and then I tried Linda Holberg has a sponge that is my favorite sponge of all time but this from Real Techniques this is so good I really love this one. I love this side to put on my foundation on my face and this pointy to fix my concealer but this is such a great sponge. This is so much better than uh, the Beauty Blender and I really love it and I really love this. Uh, this will sell this with like, this little travel kit now um, so you can travel with it because I usually use Fruma sponge in my makeup bag and it gets dirty. So I really love this and if you are using the Beauty Blender but don't want to spend so much money on it because what I have understand the Beauty Blender is expensive everywhere. Some products are expensive in Sweden but not in the US but I think the Beauty Blender is expensive everywhere and this Real Techniques it's so much better and it's less than half the price of a beauty blender and yeah I really love my little sponge then I have a powder puff from Linda Holberg I know it's a lot of Linda Holberg products I talk about in like every video but that is my favorite brand and they make these powder puffs I don't think I ever have shown you this one even um, so this is powder puff with a little Thing to put your fingers in and I use this to set my concealer under my eyes and this is amazing I love the pointy one I think I have three of these and all are dirty and um, this is the best powder puff I have used it's it is so soft and it it works amazing I really love it and I usually pack it on with this point side and then I swoop away the axis and I love this little powder puff. And then we can talk about two brushes. I think I talk quite a bit about eye brushes, so I don't have any eye brushes, but I have two face brushes. And one, both of them are from Real Techniques. One is their powder brush, and this is such a big and pretty round powder brush, but this is my old one. I bought this is it maybe four years ago and I bought a new one and it's do not look like that this so I don't know if they've changed it but this is so round so darn fluffy 
and I really love this. I hate these small powder brushes. I want them big. So this is the best powder brush. I know I love this. I hope this will never break and yeah, it's my super favorite and it's still it's still so good after all these years and I am impressed. The other brush is also from Real Techniques and it's from their diamond series. I don't know what this diamond series was called. I don't think it was Diamond Crush. Maybe it was just Diamond. And this is the 302 and this is my favorite blush brush. Even though it picks up so much blush. So you have to be careful if you have like a super pigmented blush because then you're going to have blush everywhere. But I really love this one. It's... I, I, I love everything about it. Maybe not... The color purple is not my favorite. But it's nice to hold and it's easy to work with and it, it's just super good. So if you want a good blush brush, try this one. This is better than their normal blush brush. I think this is called maybe the chic brush. I don't know, just say 302 on this one. But this is so good. Okay, then I have an eyebrow product, and this is from a Swedish brand. This is Eden Minerals I Perfect Eyebrow Fiber Infused Volumizing Tinted Brow Gel. So this is a brow gel with color. I have it in light. It looks like this, and it's I love this small brush, and it's fibers in it, and it hold my brows in place whole lay and it makes them a little bit more fuller because it's fiber in them and I love this I use this every darn day and um, so this is so so good this is my third one I think or now maybe a second one I think this is my second one and this is soon empty I really love this I will buy a new one and then I also have a mascara. I usually don't talk about mascaras. I don't think I ever do. But I really love this one. This is the Big Bold Mascara. Super volumizing from Isadora. And as you see now I... Okay, I don't know where I were because my father called. Um, but I was talking about this mascara. I usually never talk about mascara I think. And this is the Big Bold Mascara Super Volumizing from Isadora and I don't have okay, I don't have super short lashes but I don't have so long lashes but this one they make my lashes long and separated. I hate like this clumpy lashes. I want long and separated lashes with a little bit of volume. And this mascara it's giving me volume and length length I hate that word. They make them long and fuller. And this is like a cult favorite in Sweden. So many people love this love this one and I haven't tried it before. I don't know, I had have had this for a couple of months and I really love this one. This is so freaking good. It's one of the best mascaras I have ever tried. This is better than Better Than Sex from Too Faced and that was my favorite from before but this one is even better. It's better now. When it was new it was not this good so it's has been has get better with time. Okay now we have two face products and not so much more left. So I have one it's a blush but I use it as a contour shade and this is NYX Taupe. And this was, everybody was talking about this for like maybe three years ago. And this is for us pale people. <laughs> it's so hard to open, that's everything. And it looks like this. Um, I don't use this as often as I did before because I have other favorites now. But this is really really good and this is really really cheap. And I really love this one, of course, because this is things I love but never talk about. So I really love this one and if you are pale as me, 
and want a good contour shade but you don't want to buy like something that are super expensive or is in a palette or anything buy this one it's so good then i have a blush and this is one of my absolute favorite blushes and that is from the balm it's hot mama this is a very light blush that looks like this with a little bit of gold shimmer i don't no, if you can see it. This is a super good blush and this was also very popular a couple of years ago and now not so many talk about the balm anymore and it got a little mirror and it's cardboard and it's a wonderful blush and this is not so pigmented and this is blush you have to build up but I love that. I hate two pigmented blushes so you do like this and then you are like red on the cheek. I want to build up my blush so I know what I'm doing. So this one is one of my top blushes of all times. And the last thing I love but like never talk about is NYX Liquid Suede. I think I talked about this in my top 5 lipsticks video. This was one of the first liquid lipsticks I tried I think. And they are so good. I don't know how many I have. I have a lot. And I love this because it's... It's matte. But it's not drying out your lips. And it's not hard to work with. It's not dry immediately. It holds up really good. And if you are having trouble with like liquid lipsticks that dry out your lips try this one you will love it i hope i can't promise but i i hope you will love it and these 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 are pretty cheap as well and that's good and this is my favorite color and this is soft spoken this was also super popular i remember when these came to sweden this was sold out like all the time because one really popular Swedish youtuber she had this like she had this as her favorite shade so everybody bought it it was sold out every time now it's in stock because it's not so popular anymore but these are really good so if you want a good liquid matte lipstick but are afraid it's going to dry out your lips try not nox nyx liquid suede so that was some products that I really love but never talk about and or show at my channel. If you have tried any one of these products please let me know and what you think of them. And if you have some products you really really love that you think I should try please let me know. And I hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!